I just talked to a client of mine, $500,000 in accounts receivable, staggering. And you know, it's interesting because right now I was basically going through, okay, what are all the things that we can do right now to be able to make a difference because you know it's March 3rd. So, you know, sometimes people come to these revelations where they're like, okay, yeah, I do have $500,000 in accounts receivable, but I also have like a ton of people coming in for business returns, you know, schedule C's, 1040s, and they just want the tax prep, Andrew. They're not coming in for planning or they're, they're my existing clients, right? They don't wanna, you know, have fees increased. Oh, fees increased. Or we've always billed, catch this, cause this goes back into the building. Billing, we've always billed when we complete the return. So yeah, we send the client the return, they review it, then we file it, then we send the invoice. Sound familiar? Not good, not good. And if you don't wanna be a horror story, you don't wanna end up with $500,000 in AR. Here, here's a couple things I told this individual. And I mean, this honestly was just a game changer. Now I'm not gonna show this entire document. You can see I got this whole document here of all these things I went through. But I'm just gonna share with you some of the summary items, okay? These are very, very powerful. So I said, look, you know, a couple things I want you to do. I end up putting three, but I end up putting more than that, right? Every single person you talk to, I want you to collect 50% now, 50% of the money now, 50% after either 30 days or when you file the return, whichever is sooner, okay? Now, and I want you to get control of the payment information, right? Because once you do that, you get the credit card, you get the um, Visa, Amex, whatever, you get them on ACH, you're in control at that point, okay? And so you can bill it today, right? Bill it today, get your team to bill it. And then you are you can bill it in 30 days. You don't have to send them an invoice and oh, hope and pray, oh, oh, please, please get my invoice. My $500,000 of AR will go to 495 or whatever, right? And so that's the first one, right? Here we go. Double the fees on Schedule Cs. This individual had average fee on the Schedule Cs. I don't even wanna say it. It was not good. It was not good, right? Anything, my target on a Schedule C is twelve hundred, or is uh, actually fifteen hundred. Minimum I'll take is really going to be twelve hundred. Or we do have a rule called the doubling rule. Okay, so the doubling rule is basically if the person's fee was so low, like this guy's fee was like four hundred bucks, right? Just double it, right? So it's not the twelve hundred min, but we double it because you know in one year that's about as much as somebody could handle, right? So a lot of people, almost every, about seventy percent of people stay when you double the fees. Okay, so if you take somebody that's paying 400, put them on 800, they'll stay 70% of the time. And if you do the math on that, that's a lot better than what you were doing before. Upsell people into quarterlies, okay? So we have a, a deck where we sell people into quarterly. So, you know, the, the, the tax planning, the tax preparation, the implementation, all into a quarterly. For example, you might do 1,500 a quarter, 6,000 a year. Implementation and planning, we're gonna charge separately for that from the prep. Call every single person on accounts receivable once we get to April. Because I was like, you know, I mean, this is it's just an onslaught of opportunity sitting right in front of you. And he's got somebody in his office calling people on accounts receivable. Look, guys, here's the thing. If, if and you know, sometimes, it, well, I don't want to have that kind of a relationship with my clients. I don't want to have to call and I don't want them to see me that way, right? So then you get your you know, your admin team to call. They ain't going to call. They ain't gonna, and if they do call, they're just going to go through the steps, right? It's not their money. So you've got to show them that you can do it. You've got to get on the phone and show them how to have a conversation, not just to pick up the money, but to help the client, right? If somebody's sitting on accounts receivable to the tune of $500,000, it means to me, you're not talking to your clients. And when you do talk to them, you're not trying to sit down and help them. You're just like having some admin call and say, send the invoice, right? Get on the call, help the client, provide value, collect the check, even though they don't deserve it because they should have already paid. At this point in time, we got to get the money. How do we get the money? Get on the phone, connect with the client, provide value, figure out what's going on. Shoot, sometimes you can even upsell on that call. And now I just taught you how to collect up front, right? So here's another one too. I said, how'd you get this much darn AR? How'd you get this much darn AR? And I came down to it. He's not asking for money up front, right? He's not taking control of the payment information and the billing. He's not doing 50% now. He's not doing 50% in 30 days or whenever we file the return. And he's not calling people on accounts receivable as the CEO. Now, well, you know, Andrew, I want to do it. I, I don't care if you want to do it. I don't care. Wanting is not interesting. Desire is not interesting. Make the decision. Make the decision. Do it. So that's a question you got to ask yourself this year, right? Are you going to increase the fees? Are you going to double it? Are you going to charge separately for the planning? Are you going to call people on IR? Are you going to start collecting money up front? Just do it. Just do it. And by the way, I mean, come on right now. You're watching this, right? You're watching this right now. Well, what are you doing? What, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm, I'm filming this video. It's March 3rd. What do you got going on this week? That's so much more exciting. Oh, if I can just do another return. 
this is interesting, right? This makes your weekend. I looked at him. He looked like he got hit by a semi truck. Okay, you know, do something interesting, right? When you're going through pain, do something to make it interesting. Change the deal on somebody. Help somebody in a different way. Collect some money up front. Change the process. Because if you're just going through, oh, I gotta go tax season. Guy look like Eeyore, right? Oh, I gotta go tax season. Oh. So much work and so many clients, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just, you know, it's such an exciting time, right? It's like Super Bowl. I mean, there, there's very few times in the year where you just get an overwhelming number of clients coming at you. You can't even handle it. You don't even know what to do, right? And so what are you going to do? You're just going to keep your head down and, and eeyore this shit? Or are we going to get it together, right? So if you guys want to get it together, I'm going to paste the link below this video. Fill out time to talk with us. The people that have made the most with us. I'm going to show one last thing because this was just so cool. We went over this yesterday. This was so much fun in our sort of leadership meeting. And we just had a couple of clients that, you know, in the last like five days posted different stories of, of success. And so, you know, when you look at this, I'm going to share this real quick. This is pretty cool to see. And you're not going to be able to see all of these because it's going to be pretty small. Here we go. Let's see if I can pull this up. Okay. You can see here. Okay. Boom. Uh, this was his best February. 15K cash sales. Misses gold by 976. Here we go, Eric Woodbury. This guy was making 130K in his job. Now he makes, he made 92,000 in sales in the month of February. Alicia broke her biggest month in January, 32K. Then February broke it again, 42K. Okay, Nikki Nelson, best tax season she's ever had. Julie Harris actually just broke 70,000 a month in sales. These were people that all kind of posted in our group. And by the way, guys, we don't have that many people in our group. We changed our whole offering this year where we don't longer have this huge training program. We've got a much smaller group now, of people that are doing coaching. So. You know, it's a much bigger investment to work with us than it used to be in the past, but we're actually working with you every single week, forcing you to implement, doing things like I did there with my client. And so if this is something you think you want to do, go ahead and fill out that application and I will see you on the other side.